Hi, first graders. Before we read today's book, the last page of um, the last video got cut off, so I'm going to read the last page of Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and then we'll start today's book. And what happened to Goldilocks afterwards, no one can tell, but the Three Bears never saw anything more of her. So that was the ending of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Okay, today we're going to read The Three Snow Bears by Jan Brett. The Three Snow Bears by Jan Brett. Come back, Aluki shouted as her huskies floated out to sea. Oh no, she knew that although an ice floe is a good place to fish, it is a bad place to lose a dog team. Not far away, a snow bear family had just started to eat their breakfast, but it was way too hot for baby bear. Ah, wee, yell, yelled baby bear. My breakfast burned my mouth. We'll go for a stroll and let the soup cool, mama bear said. Aluki was running along looking for her dogs when she came upon the biggest igloo she had ever seen. Who lives here, she wondered. Aluki ducked inside. Right away, she smelled something delicious. Across the room, she saw a big bowl, a middle-sized bowl, and a small bowl. Surely the good smell was coming from the three bowls. Aluki, Aluki took a sip from the biggest bowl. Ow, she cried, too hot. She took a sip from the middle-sized bowl. Ooh, too cold. She tipped up the littlest bowl and drank every drop. Mmm, she said, not too hot and not too cold. In the next room, Aluki spotted three pairs of beautiful boots standing in a row. She put on the biggest boot. Too big, she said. She put on the middle-sized boot. Too fancy, she said. She put on the littlest pair. Just right, she said, wiggling her toes in the soft fur lining. Aluki walked into the last room and found a long sleeping bench piled high with fur covers. Heat from an oil lamp warmed her cheeks and made her sleepy. Time for a nap, she thought. She crawled onto the highest mound of covers. Too lumpy, she grumbled. She tried the middle bed with the furry fringe cover, but sank down so far that she could hardly breathe. Too soft, she said. She rolled over into the smallest sleeping place. The furry blanket was cozy and warm and the pillow was just her size. Just right, Aluki murmured, and was asleep before she could take her boots off. If Aluki hadn't fallen asleep, fallen fast asleep, she might have heard her dogs barking happily. Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear had spotted them adrift in the strong current and gone out to save them. The Snow Bear family was pushing Aluki's dog team back toward their igloo and safety. Papa Bear crawled into the igloo and saw his big bowl sitting in a pool of spilled soup. Someone has been tasting my soup, he roared. Mama Bear rushed in and saw that her soup had been sloshed around too. Someone has been sipping my soup, she growled. Someone found my soup, sputtered Baby Bear in his, her high squeaky voice, and they ate it all up. Papa Bear ran into the next room and saw his boots in the middle of the floor. Someone has been trying on my boots, he boomed in his big bear voice. 
Mama Bear put on her fancy boots. Someone has had these boots on, she huffed, and the fur is all bunched up. Baby Bear saw that her boots had disappeared. Someone has taken my boots and left behind these not-as-good ones, she wailed. The bears ran into their bedroom. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, Papa Bear bellowed. Someone has been sleeping in my bed, Mama Bear cried. Baby Bear peeked at her little bed and squeaked, Someone has been sleeping in my bed, and here she is. Aluki opened her eyes and saw three bear noses only inches away. She hopped out of bed and dove between Papa Bear's huge, furry legs. Quicker than a seal, Aluki ran from room to room until she burst outside. Her huskies bounced around, barking and smiling their doggy grins. I'm sorry, first graders, it's taking, this book is taking a long time to load today. Here we are. Aluki and her dogs flew over the frozen ice, dodging ridges and cracks. She looked back to wave thank you to the snow bears. She couldn't see them, but she heard a big, gruff voice, a middle-sized voice, and a high, squeaky voice calling to her, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.